Hello and welcome to FIFA Save My Life. Yes, we are back. We have pre-season, which is the end of FIFA 20 as we know it. Uh, so we have the last two months. We're in uh, the end of July, so we've got August, September uh, to go. And then we're into October where we get the new uh, FIFA. And especially if you pre-ordered it, obviously you get it three days earlier as well. So uh, not long to go. But this pre-season was built up in the fact that we are looking at a promo that's going to give us stuff uh, that will carry over to FIFA 21. Sounds great in theory, doesn't it? So, uh, what have we got? Well, looking at Twitter and looking at the different things, it seems it's a little underwhelming. Uh, so, we're here today to do a uh, review, first of all, on uh, Valverde uh, of uh, Real Madrid. He's a live card. He's 93. He is, um, obviously, it, it's his road to the final Champions League. Now, obviously, uh, Real Madrid not doing so well in Champions League, so I'm not sure how much more that will go on. Uh, but there you go. I've got a review for you on that one. But we'll also have a look at else, what else is going on within this uh, pre-season promo, if you like. So the first thing we've got is uh, good news. Anybody who has a live card, they have grown by three. They have a plus three. So uh, us people with Kents, us Kentesh people, uh, we have Kent and he is now a 97. Uh, wowee, wowee, I'm so glad I kept him. I'm gutted that I got rid of uh, uh, William a little while back and uh, people like that, but uh, we do have a plus three. Again, Gomez is another one I gave up on a long time ago because I thought, to be fair, football wasn't coming back. Uh, so uh, he went into an SBC when needed. And uh, yeah, he would have a plus three now as well. So yeah, there's some really good plus threes out there now, guys. So uh, if you have a live card, go and have a look. Uh, you get a plus three on your card. Uh, but we also have a few other things. We have, uh, uh, yeah, this is the underwhelming bit of it uh, that I can see so far. I haven't seen anything else uh, that's come out that we can get. So we can, we can earn ourselves ready for FIFA 21. Are you ready? Uh, so we have two times coin boost. So five games with 500 extra coins. Woo. Uh, we have a foot 20 icon home kit. Woo. We have foot 20 future stars kit. Woo. Uh, we have an anchor chemistry style. Yeah, that's what we all want, one of those. And an engine chemistry style. Ooh. Okay, so that is what we're working towards. I hope that isn't the end of the list, people. I hope that isn't what they've reeled us in with for the next two months. Uh, there's got to be something a little bit better than that. Uh, yes, we've got Valverde. That is uh, what we've got. We've also got something in objective. Uh, objective a little bit of that. Uh, objectives uh, in there where you can earn uh, some basically small two-player packs by the looks of it nothing too dramatic but yeah that's it okay it's the beginning and um, this could be a two-month promo so we don't know how long it's going to be and it, obviously anything's going to be a bit of a letdown after we've had uh, summer heat summer heat was amazing godlike uh, i loved summer heat it was uh, the best promo i've ever seen on fifa so uh, yeah it was always going to be hard but it's it's if it's going to be setting us up for fifa 21 it's got to be better than that ea gotta be better than that but let's go back to what we were originally here for we're here for a review on Valverde uh, and I have uh, played a few games with him and I'm ready for a review now again obviously guys you have been dying for this guy uh, we've had nearly every promo I've seen at uh, the first lines that come up on places like Footbin and that are where is Valverde where is Valverde well we have him uh, and he's a live card as well so that is not bad at all uh, now we're going to go through the stats and have a look at him and say how he played before I do so guys uh, this uh, this channel needs to grow I was hoping by the end of FIFA 20 uh, to be on to 3,000 subs now we're on uh, 2136 or 37 something like that um, it needs to grow guys so if you are new to the channel please number one uh 
join uh, join the uh, gang of FIFA Save My Lifers. Uh, if you're wondering why it's called FIFA Save My Life, have a look on the channel and you will find out why. Uh, but I also give 50% of my profits to charity. I'll give them to Mind the Charity. That is right. Just up there you will see the logo. Uh, and I give 50% of my profits that I earn from this channel on to Mind. Uh, so just by watching it, just by subscribing, just by liking, uh, you're getting to give some money to charity and it doesn't cost you anything. So there you go, guys. Uh, right, let's get on with it. Let's get on with the old Valverde. Uh, so we've got Francisco Valverde of obviously Real Madrid. At uh, he is 93 a rated. C I put him as a CDM uh, because uh, I'm rocking a 422222 uh, at the moment, just before I change to my normal 4231. Uh, so uh, Valverde comes in, he sits right next to uh, Modric uh, nicely. And uh, yeah, I've got that great link. And to be fair, you could absolutely rock an amazing Real Madrid team now. Uh, and this guy uh, would be a piece de resistance, uh, as they say in France, not Spain. Uh, so he's six foot. He is uh, young. He's 1990, uh, 1998. So he's what, 21, 22, something like that. 21, 22. He's got medium, medium for a midfielder, which is a bit, mm, but there you go. Uh, we got right footer. Uh, and he's a uh, three star, three star. Now I can say I can. I scored a few goals with him in uh, in a game. I actually scored four goals with him in a game, and he uh, he rocketed at them in with both feet. To be fair, he's, I couldn't. I I tend to not look at the stats before I play the games now because I want to feel how they are without thinking. Oh, he's got great striking. Oh, he's got. So this is actually the first time I'm looking at his stats. Um, I know, I bought without looking. Uh, but that's what I do now because it's easier to kind of have a honest review in the review, if you like. So I get a good thing. And I would have said he would have been, I, I thought he was five star weak foot, to be fair. He genuinely knocked him in uh, with his left as many as he did with his right. So he was uh, very good with his left foot, to be fair. And uh, decent dribbling as well for a three star skiller. So yeah, I'm, yeah, I'll take that. Uh, 88 pace guys with 85 acceleration, 89 sprints again had no problem with his uh, pace at all whatsoever uh, he's got decent shooting now I did score four goals in a game with him uh, so yeah you would say it's definitely above average on the shooting on Adam is my cam um, and yeah 84 attack position there guys 85 uh, finishing I would certainly stick something on it he, there was time he probably had more shots than anybody else mainly because I was lining him up for him a bit but um, yeah, as you do when you're doing a review, you, you kind of focus on the player that you're doing the review on. But I, I kind of forget halfway through the game and play my natural game, if you like. And uh, yeah, he, he had a lot of shots and a few of them were scuffed and a few of them didn't go anywhere near the goal. And the goalkeeper pulled off a couple of saves, but he did manage to uh, slot some in. So probably if you're going to play him in that cam role uh, and not so much deeper, then I would definitely, definitely stick uh, uh, something on there to improve his shooting. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Uh, I think his shooting looking across the board was probably helped by the fact that this has an amazing 99 composure, but I'll come to that in a sec. Um, he does have 98 shot power and 98 long shots. Now, I'm surprised about that. Uh, he didn't score from outside the area. I did have quite a few shots. And his shot power felt really weak. I thought that was actually going to be the other way around. I genuinely thought he was going to have like 98 finishing for some reason and genuinely uh, really low shot power that was going to have to be worked on because he did seem to scuff a lot of shots uh, when he had like a clear shot. It, it didn't get really get any power behind it. It might have been me, but I would say, you know, it, it felt that way. So it felt ob really the opposite to where it is, but it's both solved by sticking something on there uh, to solve shooting. Uh, you got volleys of 54 and uh, yeah, penalties of 53. I did take a penalty and score a penalty with him actually. He did earn it, so he got it. And uh, yeah, he scored a penalty. Uh, he's got 99 vision, which is great uh, from midfield. Maybe he would probably be deep, a better deeper. Uh, but uh, at the moment, I have Modric and uh, Vidal deeper. So, yeah, he's, he's kind of not really as good as those. Uh, so, yeah, he would probably stay where he is at the moment. Uh, he's got 99 vision, 71 crossing, which is a bit poo. But he does have 61 free kick taking, which is absolutely horrendous. I did take a free kick, and actually the goalkeeper pulled off a very good save. Uh, 99 shot power, nine, uh, 99 long shots, and... and Let's get this right, people. 
99 short passing and 99 long passing. That is phenomenal. Uh, phenomenal. He's got 75 curve uh, on there. He's got 86 agility, 82 balance. Uh, again, I felt really good on the ball with him when dribbling. Really good on the ball with him dribbling. You can see down below and, and around us, that, that, that there's some very good stats of him dribbling really well. Uh, he's got decent reactions there at 95. Uh, really good ball control at 96 with dribbling at 91. And like I said, that composure of 99. Uh, so no sniper needed on this guy. Uh, you got very good defending for him, uh, which could make him a really good box-to-box -box midfielder, uh, which is 88 interceptions. Uh, you've got 90 defensive awareness along with 88 slide tackle, but you do have uh, 88 stand tackle with 68 slide tackle. Uh, he, he's not very good at heading, even though he's six foot. He's got 63 heading and a 56 jumper. Goes along with his medium, medium, I can't be bothered um, stat, I think. Uh, he's got 86 stamina. It was asking me from about 75 minutes to substitute him. Uh, continuously, he was the only player uh, that I was getting automatically asked to substitute. So, yeah, he was uh, below income uh, 75 minutes. I did keep him on and did score another goal, actually. So, there you go. Uh, he's got 87 strength and 88 aggression, guys. Uh, a along with absolutely sweet nothing when it comes to traits. Uh, so he has no traits whatsoever. Not a trait. Uh, very confusing card, guys. He feels good in game. He feels really good in game. I wouldn't say he feels spectacular. I wouldn't say he, like, Modric has been my favorite player so far in FIFA. Uh, this uh, FIFA, my 96 flashback Modric, genuinely uh, wouldn't get rid of him uh, for all the tea in China. Uh, he's very, very closely followed by Ryan Kent, but he is uh, just in front. I really like him. Uh, this guy is nothing like him. He is not that close to him. Uh, he doesn't have all those uh, sort of that feel of easiness on the ball. But there were some really good things. He scored a load of goals for me. He did set up a few goals. He did have a couple of assists. And you could really tell he had decent passing. He had really good passing. Uh, he had decent ball control. Uh, he did have decent shooting. Uh, again, although the stats say he, he's sort of sub-average, you know, sort of just above average on the old shooting. Uh, and you can uh, bulk that up. Yeah, he has poor stamina if you're going to put him box to box. So he's probably not going to last all game. So whether you want him as a super sub uh, to bring on to sort of live in your game up or whether you want to bring him off and have someone to come on for him he was very strong on the ball he did definitely uh knock people off the ball uh, it was just a bit of a confusing card to be fair uh he didn't feel sometimes he didn't feel that great on the ball and other times he felt really good on the ball so yeah it was a bit confusing uh but overall for for like i think it's like 50 60 grand guys you can't moan it is a really good card and he could go up in the next couple of months uh, he could go up a bit more and uh, become a really good fun card if those uh, balance stats go up a little bit and uh, his stamina goes up a little bit. You would uh, definitely have a very, very, very good card on your hands there, guys. Uh, but yeah, we've been asking for him. We got him. Uh, he is definitely worth going out and getting at that price. And uh, yeah, seeing where you can fit him into your team, to be honest, you cannot moan. Uh, this is a very good card. Go out and get him. Valverde. I'm saying yeah. Right, thank you very much for watching, my friends. Uh, you take care of yourself. And if you can, as always, find someone who can. Bye-bye.